going quickly in front of the windows. And if you happen to notice the cold bed constantly snows on your way on board today, they are not just for work folks, they actually work. If you ride with us in our cold over the months, you'll see just how practical and comfortable they really are. All these cars were carefully restored by our master class and the shop of the Stratford Railroad. Now folks, standing to view on the left-hand side of this train are the large white buildings of the Edmund J. Turkey Farm. The oldest continuously operated turkey farm in the United States and verified by Poultry World Magazine. And yes, folks, indeed there is a Poultry World Magazine. <laughs> We're very busy place, especially in November and December. Certainly not a time you would want to be a turkey. Or let's just say you get gobbled up pretty quickly. For those of you on board today who happen to like turkey jokes, I have another one for you. Does anyone know what a turkey's favorite dessert is? What is a turkey's favorite dessert? If you happen to guess peach gobbler, you would be correct. Now folks, as you look out your window here, Sprout before you Lancaster County's beautiful farmland. Today we'll travel past 21 working Amish and Mennonite farms and some of the most productive and beautiful land in Pennsylvania. Edmund Shea Crossing is next, Edmund Shea.
way. But here in Ross Road is one of the very few places in the entire country where you see that we're trying to have each other on a regular schedule. For a while, you both experience there is also one more place. So that is, you know, he's trapped for a yard when we pass on this and we're leaving.
Americans are down here more than 75,000 of these people, and they live a quiet, peaceful life of hard work and deep religious devotion, exactly as their forefathers did when they arrived from Germany and Switzerland.